In this video, we will explore the eraser syntax, understand why we use it, and look at some common applications. If you have not used it before, this video will explain the fundamentals, and if you are already familiar with it, this will help clarify any questions you might have. So let's dive in. Razer is a markup syntax used in ASP.NET Core to embed c -sharp code into HTML. It's designed to be clean and concise, making your code easier to read and maintain. You'll commonly see Razer syntax in views, which are responsible for rendering the UI. Razer syntax is denoted by the at symbol. Now let's look at some common uses. First, let's start with basic variable embedding. Suppose we have a variable that we want to display in our view. In this example, we declare a variable message inside this code block that we can write inside our view pages and use the add message syntax to embed its value inside a paragraph tag. Razor also supports embedding more complex expressions and C-sharp code blocks. For instance, let's loop through a list of items and display each one of them. Here we use the add for each loop to iterate over a list of items and output each item within a list tag. Notice how we seamlessly switch between C# -sharp and HTML. Razor syntax also includes conditional statements, which are useful for rendering different content based on certain conditions. Let's see an example with an if else statement. Depending on the value of the is logged in variable, Razor will render either welcome back or please log in. This makes our views dynamic and responsive to the application's state. Now let's talk about the Razor directives. Directives are special instructions for the Razor engine and they're prefixed with the add symbol. Some common directives include add page, add model, and add using. For example, the add model directive specifies the type of model data the view expects. This is crucial for strongly typed views. In this example, the addModel directive is used to indicate that this view expects a MyViewModel object. We can then access the model's properties using addModel. Lastly, Razor has a feature called Tag Helpers, which allows us to dynamically add behaviors and attributes to HTML elements. Tag helpers make our Razor views cleaner and more maintainable. Here's a simple example using the ASP4 tag helper. The ASP4 tag helper binds the input field to the name property of the model. This ensures that the correct value is posted back to the server when the form is submitted. This was a quick overview of Razor syntax in ASP.NET Core. If you want to keep learning how to build MVC web applications in ASP.NET Core, you should watch the following video in the series which should appear on the screen right now or you can check out the entire playlist. If you got value from the video, subscribe to the channel for more content like this and I will see you in the next one.